to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip comes via a little um, interaction that I recently had at the customer appreciation event in Asheville. Talking to this really, really great customer and she asked me, oh, well, do you guys have that paper deckling tool, which basically what she's referring to is it's like a ruler that has a, a like a tooth on one edge, like a jaggedy edge. And um, my immediate response was like, not great. <laughs> Cause it was like not very customer friendly. I was just like, um, no, but you don't need that anyway. And you know, you shouldn't tell people what they need, what they don't need. Um, what I meant to say was, that's a very handy tool. Um, we don't carry it because you can actually like just use your hands. And so I'm going to show you today how to hand deckel your paper and like customize it to whatever size that you want um, and get beautiful decals um, every single time. So we're going to show you right here. Um, for instance, like I have some really great paper scrap. And as you can see, like I've got one pretty decal on one edge. Uh, there's one kind of, you know, kind of decal. And then the other two are cut edges. I'm wanting to use this piece for um, something a little later on. So I'm going to show you how to customize this and it's super, super easy. All you need is um, a good sized brush, some water and uh, just a regular ruler. And I actually have this flexi one um, because it's, it's actually pretty perfect for this because it'll actually give a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this edge and as you can see, I'm not being like terribly precise. What we're gonna do is fold this, I'm creasing it with my finger this is a 140 pound, but this can be done with 300, do it all the time. So what you're gonna do is you're going to wet the brush and then you're gonna wet this edge. Then what we're gonna do is flip it over, wet it here, like so. Then what you're gonna do is do a little bit of paper gymnastics here. You're going to kind of reinforce that bend. Give it a couple seconds for the water to do its magic. You gotta give it a little bit. Now, if you're working on 300, sometimes this will be a little bit tough to start. So what I'll do is keep a pair of scissors around and just kind of nip the edge because it's so thick um, that sometimes it's a little hard to start. This is 140, so it should be no problem. So what we're gonna do is just pull it along the ruler, line it up with our fold, pull along there, and see so you got a really, really nice decal that matches like down here. So again, we're gonna fold. And granted, you can measure, you can do all that kind of precision stuff if you need to, especially like if you've got a frame that you're, you're doing a piece and you bought a frame and you're trying to kind of make use of a great deal on a frame. So we're going to line her up. Yeah. So we're getting really, really nice edges and they're all nice and a match. This is not square. Do a better job at measuring than me, but you get the idea. It's a really, really handy, quick way to kind of doll up your edges and stuff like that. So you can basically make what looks like a handmade sheet every single time and it's not, except for that it was just handmade by you. So we got a perfect deckle edge every single time. So it looks like a artisanal sheet that you custom made. So uh, hope this tip is helpful and hope that you enjoy. <laughs> 